Digit PDX here. Uh, we're putting the flooring in, is what we're doing today. Uh, this is, what is, what is this? A prestige like floors for living, kind of a, um, you know, we're just trying to make this place look nicer so that the, the clients and everybody comes in and sees a little bit more of a, a nice atmosphere. You know, it's, not, it's, it's obviously it needs to not look like a head shop and not quite look like a sterile doctor's office. Uh, the guys running it or here, I don't know if he wants to be on camera. But um, this place is not open right now. There, there's been some new regulations which are causing us to have to put in some, uh, we're putting in uh, secure rooms and that sort of a thing here. But, uh, you know, it just shows how a lot of us here in Portland do, do know each other. We're networking more. Notice there's old flooring, it's kind of funky, it's all that kind of stuff. We can cover this up using a heavy OSB to cover that. It's tongue and groove heavy OSB, and then we're putting this floating floor on top of that. We can take a pretty funky, messed up, irregular floor and in relatively short time make it kind of nice. I mean, and that's all part of urban renewal, especially out here in East Portland where, you know, I mean, it's not the best area, but we're the people coming in and fixing it up, not the big corporation. Okay. Okay, we need to move this case. Two pieces are, are connecting so that the level, you know, we put the new one in, it goes in like this. They don't have to go all the way in, but it's got to get in enough that, that we don't get any more movement like that. Now, when we have a length over here, we want to cut this so that these end up basically this way, right? If we flip this upside down, flip that upside down, right? Set it up against the wall, get it upside down. Oh, well, the measurement we're looking for is right here. But, you know, right here with a little fudge factor, right? Because there's going to be trim up on the wall to kind of deal with that. So we've got a mark here. That you'll see, right? So you gotta, you gotta do it with it flipped upside down. Yeah. So when you flip it, it over the right way, yeah, so the when you flip right it over way. the right way, the lips end up in the right place, right? Yeah. Remember how we did it like this? We yeah. just went upside down. Yeah. We, we did not do, we didn't do this. You know what I'm thinking? We, we don't do this. We take it we're all in the right position, and we flip it around, okay? We gotta clear this little notch. So we use this little tool for that. All right, this marked up. I gotta get it out. I'm pulling it out. Pulling it out. What's this tool called again? Oh, where are we? Job Max, I think. Job Plus. I'll tell you guys real quick. Like sitting here, preferably with a knee here, yeah. guiding this in. You want to shift, so we're trying to guide it in. Uh, I'm guiding it in. I'm to my finger. There we go. That one's ready to go. Okay, so if somebody else wants start to the next cut. I'll start the next cut. Yeah. Start the next cut. Lift. All right, get under. You guys, someone get under on your side. Without cutting it, I don't. But uh, we're going to get our 
This is going to be on the inside of two layers of material, so we got to know we've got room. Carrying any uh, unusual objects? Good to go. Okay, so. Okay, now up high here. Good to go. Alright. This music. <laughs> the music's a little distracting, I don't know. Gonna shake your booty all night long, all night long. <laughs> okay, where's that tape right I am 43 years old. I suggest you not try this at home, even if you're only 20. That's so, oh no, no, I'm not breaking the board. For one, it takes two in here. Uh -huh. But, uh, you see that kick that went above my head? Uh -huh. I'm 43 years old, I wanna see you do that.